Hello, hi there YouTube, my name is Walker, aka Showstopper. Welcome back to yet another exciting video. So this is going to be a very interesting video. Watch until the end, please. And um, I just want to issue a disclaimer before I continue. All the names used in this scenario is just common names that I use. There's no specific, it's not linked to any specific person. So please don't catch and yeah, hope you're going to enjoy the video. <laughs> Hi, it's a chummy. Did you hear? Did I hear what? Noni passed with like great ones, like for all her modules. And um, do you know her other friend? Susanna. Yeah, bra, Susanna. That girl got A stars. A stars. She only got one A though. What? They got great ones and A stars. Sure. Imagine, bra, those girls are smart. But those girls, it was all the Namcall booklets, all the excellent booklets and whatnot. Those girls are not smart. Yeah, like for us, we, we would have also been there had we had all the excellent booklets, all the Namco booklets, and had we also been bookworms like, like they are. So, yeah, like I, I'm, I'm really, no, it's expected, like really. I mean, if I was in that place, I would have also gotten that those great ones and the A stars. So I'm not shocked and I'm not even impressed. But oh wow. Yeah, whatever. Roxalie from our class. Ah, that's Roxalie. Shoot, sure. this girl. Oh, bruh. Just look at her pictures. What do you think about her? Uh, I also don't like that girl. She thinks really. She really thinks she's all that. Like she's always showing off. Always like trying to dress up as if she's you know cute and whatnot. But. Jokes, jokes, my dear. Brian, do you remember the other day in class when she was raising her hand? Sir, I just want to hit her. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, bra, our nerves. Oh, that girl just annoys the hell out of me. Like, I don't know understand why she's like that. Is it because she's like from, you know, this other place that I don't want to mention it because for me, she's just very annoying. So. Yeah, but okay, let's just stay away from her. I don't even know why I'm looking at the Instagram. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this Russell's girlfriend? Which one? Yeah, that's Russell's girlfriend. Russell didn't want you because of this girl. I don't care if Russell chose her, but he lost out actually. Like he really did lose out, so I don't care. Ugh, whatever. I don't understand. Deserve the best. Wonder what he need. And anyways, he's lost, bruh. He's lost. Because you're the ish girl. Yeah, she got nothing on me, dear. Nothing at all. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I miss you so much. Hi, friend. I'm fine, and how are you? I miss you too. I've been fine. I've been fine. Oh, just lockdown, man. We're also on lockdown this side. So, do you guys like go to the beach? What have you guys been doing? And did you hear? Did I hear what? About blah, the girl from our class got married. She's so beautiful. Oh, the one that fell grade 12 with 18 points for? She Oof. did? I... I thought that girl is like a PhD or something. Ooh. But like, people say God must doesn't give you everything. 
Yeah, that girl is not even doing anything with her life, my dear. Yeah. People are getting married left, right and center. I'm wondering when is our time, when? Yeah, yeah, it's just those yeah. people that are getting married. Us, we don't get married right now, so uh, let go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed all the scenarios. Can you relate? I can relate. To be honest, I wasn't perfect. I was hating on anything that moves because I was insecure, because I wasn't confident in who I was. And so, I had to deal with that issue. Now, the thing is, you can't deal with it if you can't admit that you have it. Baby girl, it's okay. It's okay to feel like, to, to know that you're insecure. It's okay to know that you're a bit jealous. You're a bit envious of some people. You're just like, why is she so pretty? Why is she so smart? Why does she seem like she got everything together? You know, why does she treat me like that? Does she think she's all that? Baby girl, we understand. That's how we think. That's how all of us think. This, you know? Now, this is an unidentified and unaddressed issue. So you got to admit it for you to receive healing. You can't go to a doctor if you don't admit that you're sick okay so how are we going to deal with this we're going to allow god to come and heal us we're going to confess to god and say god i'm jealous of this girl because she seems like she she got everything together or god i'm jealous for, um, about this girl because she seems like you know she she's passing you know she seems like um she got it you know happening for her in life and things like that you know and then god is going to come in and come and heal us so let's do a hard check Let's do what's really within our heart, you know. Maybe you're envious, maybe you're jealous because you are not passing as well. Maybe you feel you don't feel beautiful, and that's why you're jealous about other people that are confident in their own skin. This is the time for you to admit that you are not secure in your beauty, and you gotta take it to God. And I was that person, I hated my forehead, I hated my voice, I hated my nose. I felt like, you know, all these things, they're too big, my lips are too big, my teeth is too big, you know? And when I took it to God, he started healing me within. And now I'm confident. I look at other people, I'm like, she's so differently beautiful. And I'm so differently beautiful. So you gotta be confidently beautiful, baby girl. You gotta find security in your own beauty. You gotta admit that you're insecure, that you're a little bit jealous, a little bit envious of, of and you can mention the names in the secret place. God ain't gonna tell nobody. We know that you've got trust issues because probably your mom, your dad, your family, your friends, somebody disappointed you, but God ain't gonna disappoint you. And who's he gonna discuss it with? With the angels in heaven that are gonna tell nobody because the angels got no friends on earth. So you gotta be confident in that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something about it. But do a heart check, allow God to perform surgery on your heart and to show you what is really within your heart, you know, and how you react and how you comment and how you look at people and how you talk about people. That just reveals something that's on the inside of you. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about the video. I know it's very funny and it took so long to edit and I'm in my brother's room. I know he's gonna see this video it's gonna be like what are you doing in my room because somebody was taking a shower in my room and um you could hear the sound of the the shower basically so that's why i'm in my brother's room i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and i hope that i inspired you that i encouraged you and that you did enjoy this video bye